On July 14, 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft performed a historic flyby of Pluto, revealing the first close-up pictures of this distant and intriguing planet. The mission brought back a lot of new information on Pluto and its moons. These images of this mysterious planet and the data gathered during the New Horizons mission have changed our knowledge of Pluto and its moons, as it was the first spacecraft to do so. The spacecraft gave a close insight into this faraway planet, revealing Pluto's varied and complex scenery. Stay tuned as we closely examine what NASA's New Horizons spacecraft found surrounding Pluto. New Horizons was the first spacecraft to approach Pluto, a remnant of the solar system's origin. By the time it arrived in the Pluto system, the spacecraft had journeyed for over nine years. This is longer than any previous deep space vehicle. New Horizons was developed to examine Pluto, its moons, and objects in the Kuiper Belt, a solar system region stretching from approximately 30 AU near Neptune's orbit to roughly 50 AU from the Sun. In early 2019, New Horizons sailed over Arrokoth, 2014 MU69, the most distant object ever investigated up close. Early photographs suggested a reddish, snowman-like structure, but a closer examination of images was obtained during the closest approach. New Horizons approached within 2,200 miles and showed exactly how unique the KBO's shape is. Arrokoth's unmodified form is around 22 miles long from end to end. It is approximately 12 miles wide by 6 miles thick. The more prominent lobe was discovered to be lenticular, which implies it's flattened and fashioned like two lenses stacked on each other. The smaller lobe is more circular and measures roughly 996 miles. This is precisely the first time we've seen anything like that anywhere in the solar system, said Dr. Alan Stern of the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado. It sends the planetary science community back to the drawing board to figure out how the planetesimals, the planet's building components, develop. The New Horizons mission was the first in NASA's New Frontiers program, a medium-class, competitively chosen series of tasks commanded by principal investigators. To achieve its course, the spacecraft's design was based on the Contour and Timed spacecraft, both created by John Hopkins University's Applied Physics Laboratory. In addition to its scientific equipment, New Horizons has a cylindrical radioisotope thermoelectric generator, a spare from the Cassini project, that generated around 250 watts of electricity during launch, decaying to 200 watts by the time of the Pluto encounter. New Horizons data showed that Pluto and its satellites were significantly more complicated than previously thought. Scientists were especially shocked by the level of ongoing activity on Pluto's surface. Scientists were obliged to substantially rethink prior simulations of the system due to the air haze and lower-than-expected atmospheric escape rate. According to New Horizons, Pluto has a highly complex atmosphere. The atmosphere is mostly nitrogen gas, with trace quantities of methane and carbon dioxide. The satellite identified haze layers in the atmosphere up to 120 miles above the Earth. These discoveries imply Pluto's atmosphere is more dynamic and energetic than previously assumed. Pluto, in reality, exhibits evidence of considerable fluctuations in atmospheric pressure and may have formerly possessed flowing or standing liquid, volatiles on its surface. Nowadays, there are suggestions that Pluto may contain an interior water ice ocean. New Horizons spotted Pluto's four satellites, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, Styx, and Pluto, and Charon. The Charon flyby occurred at around 17,900 miles. The download of the whole collection of data obtained during the encounter with Pluto and Charon, around 6.25 terabytes, took more than 15 months and was officially finished on October 25, 2016. The spaceship was around 4.5 light hours from Earth and could only transmit 1 to 2 kilobits per second, necessitating such a protracted interval. The spacecraft discovered geologic activity on several moons including craters, mountains, and canyons. These discoveries imply that the moons around Pluto are more than simply inactive bits of rock and ice, but also geologically active planets. New Horizons also photographed what scientists think to be ice volcanoes, commonly known as cryovolcanoes on Pluto's surface. Cryovolcanoes are the ice counterparts of volcanoes we are acquainted with. Unlike the volcanoes on Earth and Mars, which spew liquid rock, cryovolcanoes erupt ice, vapor, and liquid volatiles. As these volatiles come into contact with the cold atmosphere, they condense into ice. 
cryovolcanoes are abundant on the ice moons of gas giants in the outer solar system. They've even been detected shooting ice plumes towards Enceladus and Triton. These cryovolcanoes may erupt a slurry of water, nitrogen, ammonia, or methane. This finding implies that Pluto has dynamic geology and may contain an underground ocean of liquid water capable of supporting life. What might be the source of these hummocks and cryovolcanoes? A massive object slammed Pluto early in its history, forming Pluto's moon, Charon. When two celestial bodies collide, the resulting tidal heating has the potential to trigger volcanism. The heat from this impact, on the other hand, should have faded out long ago. Still, the volcanic activity is considerably more recent, one to two billion years old. Given the information they gathered, the researchers also proposed that Wright Mons and Picard moons are not a single cryovolcano but rather a series of combined eruption sites. Moreover, these volcanoes show that Pluto is not as wholly frozen as previously assumed but has maintained some heat that drives the cryovolcanoes. This also indicates the possibility of a liquid ocean under Pluto's surface. However, this remains unclear. We may know where the excess heat originates from. The New Horizons spacecraft observed a varied topography on Pluto, including towering mountains, immense plains, and deep valleys. Hilary Montez, Pluto's most enormous mountain range, rises to 11,000 feet. The plains are blanketed with nitrogen ice, and some canyons reach depths of 4 kilometers. This finding implies that Pluto's geology is dynamic and complex, challenging the long-held idea that Pluto was a frozen and unchanging planet. On the surface, stunning photos revealed a massive heart-shaped nitrogen glacier dubbed Sputnik Planitia after Sputnik 1, Earth's first artificial satellite. It is the largest known solar system glacier, measuring around 600 miles wide. According to Dr. Stern, the New Horizons spacecraft is still alive and deep in the Kuiper belt. It moves away from the Earth and Sun at around 300 million miles annually. To conserve fuel and wear and tear on the spacecraft, the spacecraft was placed into hibernation mode on June 1, 2022, and will stay in hibernation until March 1, 2023. Based on these and more findings by NASA, Pluto was demoted from being the ninth planet from the Sun to one of five dwarf planets by the International Astronomical Union IAU, in 2006. The IAU did not expect the considerable outcry that accompanied the solar system's configuration adjustments. Upon its announcement, and to date, individuals all across the globe opposed it on principle, claiming that it changed tradition and history rather than dealing with scientific rationale. Pluto was demoted by the IAU because planets are astronomical objects big enough to have been rounded by their gravitational orbit around the Sun. In addition, the word planet was originally a vague term used to designate a massive object inside the solar system. Pluto is presently categorized as a dwarf planet because it's grown large enough to become spherical. Still, more is needed to assert orbital dominance and clear the neighborhood around its orbit. To many Earthlings, Pluto's demotion seemed like a departure from convention. It was a good stride forward into a new light, new knowledge, and altering viewpoints of the cosmos. Ultimately, the New Horizons mission revolutionized our knowledge of Pluto and its moons and offered planetary scientists a plethora of fresh data to explore for years to come. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you'd like this next video here. Thanks for watching.